Please rise for the national anthem. Please be seated. Do you have a chair? <laughs> Sorry guys, Amelia didn't have a chair. <laughs> Good morning, class of 2023. Today is it. The day we have all waited for has finally come. I would like to begin this speech with some much-deserved thank yous. To all the administrators, teachers, coaches who have led us here today, thank you. I would especially like to thank Mr. T and Mr. Arts for being our fearless leaders for the past four years. As they helped us navigate the trying times of high school, they remained behind the shadows, cheering us on, making everything possible for our class. In a similar way, the parents of the class of 2023 were doing just the same. Parents, it's been your constant support and encouragement that we received from you over the last 18 years that's brought us to where we are today. Thank you. I know I can speak for the rest of our class and express our deepest gratitude for all that you have done. Thank you. As Ms. Kaufman, Mrs. Tantillo, and Ms. Schleicher helped me brainstorm my message for this speech, the word resilience kept coming up. Now, as I look out to this young group of young adults before me, I can see why this is a word that defines the class of 2023. Throughout our last four years at All of Reims, we've been faced with consistent inconsistency. Our freshman year, we deemed our class motto to be, today we follow, tomorrow we lead, class of 2023. Now, as freshmen, this motto made perfect sense to us. As freshmen, we knew we would have three full years to watch and learn about the upperclassmen life and see how leadership really lurks except we didn't. From the infamous March 13th shutdown to a year of classes on computers, to becoming upperclassmen before we could take a breath, we were expected to be leaders without having watched anyone truly lead. When we entered our junior year of high school, we were upperclassmen without any experience as underclassmen. The cliche that junior year is the most difficult year of high school remained true for our class, but in a different way. 
Without the guidance of the class before us, we're thrown in the same position, and new administrators also navigating the ways of all brains. We were unlikely leaders. Without any role models to follow, we had to create our own path. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said, do not follow the, where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. And that is exactly what we did. Rather than try to recreate what we lost, we move forward and embrace our new normal. Still, with masks on our face, we remember what it was like to be with each other once again. Going from individuals separated behind a screen to a community all together again, it was an experience none of us will ever forget. As we pro progressed toward becoming our own rendition of leaders, we found the value in advocating for what is right for ourselves. A notable aspect of the class of 2023 is our ability to take what is given to us and make it our own. Whether it was an outdoor pep rally, homecoming on the tennis courts, or our first real class event being junior prom, the class of 2023 created a new path with resilience. I know I can speak for everyone when I say the class of 2023 came to senior year ready. Determined to make every win and success for ourselves and no one else, we went all out. As we continue to forge our own path, we work to maintain old traditions as well as create new ones. When we discovered our last day to be a half day, we immediately worked together to gain an extra full day of school. Being the first class in history to ever beg for an extra day, <laughs> we were able to preserve the traditions of a classic senior send-off as well as a full day for goodbyes. These goodbyes cons consisted of watermelons, crowd surfing, and confetti cannons to ensure that the class of 2023 is forever remembered. Rumor has it, you can get a signed autograph for $15 of the crowd surfing culprit. From every sports, arts, and music successes, every pep rally win, and every watermelon confiscated, our class's resilient personality shined. I believe now is the ideal time to address the circumstance we find ourselves in today. As we sit here, crammed on this stage, facing yet another inconsistency in our lives. Just 48 hours ago, I was crying hysterically on the same stage where I'm now giving this speech. Ironically enough, this final inconsistency plays perfectly into my message to our class. After shedding some tears, I came to realize that this moment is one of the many moments in life. Whether it's dealing with a worldwide pandemic, facing financial debt with two weeks left of school, or having an indoor graduation, it is all life. I'd like to take this opportunity to quote someone I consider a great role model, our very own Mrs. Marani. In her final words to my AP class, she said, when we realize that what we are dealing with is life, we can consider the possibilities of the days ahead. All the good that you brought to this space, bring it to the world. It desperately needs you. All of our aims has provided us with skills to remain resilient in response to the inconsistencies we will face throughout our lives. We all have countless opportunities ahead of us, regardless of our past. As we all have great things to come, there will be challenges as well. If there's one lesson that we have all learned during our time here at OA, is that this is all just life. I am confident that we will take advantage of each new day and bring the goodness that you brought to OA to the world around us. Now, before we join the elite group of OA graduates, I'd like to post on our famous class Instagram one more time. Thank you all for an amazing four years. I truly look forward to hearing all that we have accomplished. I would now like to invite our class speaker, Jaden Hinton. Good morning, Eastern community, teachers, and families. From the bottom of my heart, I'd like to genuinely thank you for supporting us throughout all these years. And to the class of 2023, thank you for electing me to speak on behalf of you all. I have a genuine love for the town of Easton, and I feel such a strong sense of community here. Without further ado, I've prepared a poem instead of a speech. Class of 2023, we finally done it. We challenged the game called school and we finally won it. Conquered the slope of high school, and we've reached the summit. Though some believe when you reach the top, 
you can only plummet. But surely that's not true. Not true at all. We're at the top right now, but the next mountain is tall. The climb of the mountain called life is going to be a brawl. But if we can believe, we can achieve. And that's not false. So let's start from the beginning, from our days as a freshman. When the boring days in high school we felt would never end. Where the cliques and groups at school would hate and never blend. When we were energetic and thought everything was funny. When we were broke, had no cars, didn't ask anyone for money. Then came a cough and a sneeze and a nose that was runny. We were like, man, that's cool. Man, that's sick. Two weeks off of school, that will fly by quick. But little did we know, we were sadly mistaken. Sent home, all alone, separated and forsaken. You would have never imagined this at freshman orientation. There wasn't much to do and there wasn't much to say. We had online school and a bunch of easy A's, but the online portion <laughs> led to a mental decay. We got addicted to the screens as a form of simple and easy communication as they allowed us to be close socially, but with physical separation. But that was it. It was as if we had skipped a beat because in all honesty, our freshman year was not complete. Then came sophomore year and we were ready for a change, though we were still behind screens feeling slightly deranged. It felt as if someone shook our world and we were rearranged. We were stuck behind a screen, visible but not seen, as if we were trapped in the cyclical numbing routine. Make sure your camera is on and your mic is muted. It felt surely as if our lives were being uprooted. In all honesty, that year to me was nothing but a blur. I can't remember any of the events or lack thereof that occurred. There were four sports seasons, a mixer and hybrid learning, but it left us wanting more, pleading, begging, and yearning. Though junior year was different, it was our saving grace. Allowed back into school to take masks off our face. It was nice to be in school and just walk around with us. Homecoming was outside, and that's when we knew that we were back. As if everything, as, <laughs> as if everything snapped in place, and we were right back on track. Sports were back on, and learning was back to normal. We had junior prom after losing dinner dance and semi prom. We were finally back together, and it felt like it was just fate. There was no time for hatred, just time for us to be great. And that greatness translated from school into sports because we had athletic successes in all forms and all sorts. Girls basketball, all of track, soccer, wrestling, you name it. All girls were on the path to victory and frankly reclaim it. So there was one setback, and that one was real rough. I'm talking about our overall performance in powder coats. <laughs> Kelly Crowder was on the and she some, sent some of our girls flying. Our girls were beaten up, bruised, battered, and crying. Our class was unstoppable, but evidently we couldn't have it all. I can't forget the addition to our family and loved ones casually. Staying up after sports just to decorate the walls of our school, just so we could present something we thought was quite cool. Though it wasn't perfect, it was our first true year of high school. Then came the big one that she either looked forward to or dreaded. Senior year, we had to determine in which directions we were headed. Balancing a social life, school, sports, work, and applications, it was like we were being forced to juggle all of our missions. But in reality, that perception was somewhat true, because finally we were able to observe how much we grew. There were so many events that we shared before this year was over, and with each senior event, we felt our family going closer. From field day to church night, senior sunrise, the Lord. Senior skip day, day of kindness, senior prom, and more. Class of 2023 is truly on top, and our athletic successes were also on top. Girls and boys soccer, they rocked and did their thing, and the boys were also able to bring us back home and rain. You can't forget track and softball and frankly any sport, but I can't name them all, but I want to keep this poem short. You can't forget the amazing musicals that we produced, and this, this production was the amazing footprints. Another, Another shout out to our amazing high school band, band, and our loud shout out goes to our fantastic LA fans. And as we look back at this year, it might have been stressful, but because you are right here, you know, know you are successful. Though ultimately senior year was truly quite fun, I'm pretty sure it's really right to up young everyone. It may seem like a little bit of a tangent, and maybe that's true. I just wanted to show you all the things that you've been through. You have dreamed for a reason, and I hope that you believe me, because with faith and hard work, I know that you can achieve them. Every expert is going to begin again, and every professor wants to student. So defy our odds, be consistent and be prudent. Be bright like a spark, and be the light like dark. Embody the tiger mindset, but be sure to live your mark. On wherever you may go, or wherever you may venture. Class of 2020, this is your life, and you're going to be your adventure. Class of 2023, you have the potential to be great. With the building blocks in the future, I wonder what we'll create. Hopefully, we'll be the world, but if we're the same, we just need to see some tape. And before, before I hand it off to the Valley of Lorraine Molly, I want to wish you all the best. Now I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>
morning, morning parents, parents, teachers, friends, mentors, administrators, and of course, all grades graduating class of 2023. Today, Today marks our momentous occasion as we gather here to celebrate the culmination of our high school journey. As a valedictorian of our class, I stand before you with immense pride and gratitude. It is truly an honor to address you on this special day. Our high school, school years have been a remarkable journey filled with unforgettable experiences. We embarked on this path as timid freshmen, uncertain of what awaited us. We navigated the hallways, sometimes losing our way literally by entering the wrong class, but we discovered the strength within us to adapt and grow. We faced challenges, both academic and personal, personal and emerged as stronger, stronger individuals. individuals. Through late nights studying, studying classes, classes like, like calculus, calculus, countless, countless exams, and endless, and endless extracurricular, extracurricular activities, activities, we forged, forged lasting friendships, friendships that became that our support system. system. Even, Even after, after a year of separation, separation we, continued we continued to come to together, together at sold out sports, sports games, games, musicals, and art shows, shows, as our grade proved their, their genuine interest in their, their classmates' success. success. Together, together, we laughed, laugh, cried, and celebrated creating cherished memories that will forever define this chapter in our lives. But today, as we bid, well, bid farewell to high school, we embark on a new adventure, one that is filled with endless possibilities and opportunities. Each of us carries a unique set of dreams, aspirations, and talents. Some of us may continue our education, while others enter the workforce, military, or explore alternative paths. We stand on the precipice of new life endeavors, ready to make our mark in the world. Whether it be as a doctor, nurse, economist, accountant, landscaper, engineer, or architect, I know, I know we are ready to fulfill our dreams because we are set, set, set up for success from our, from our time at All Brains. Just as our high school experience, this journey will undoubtedly present its own set of challenges. We may stumble, face setbacks, or encounter moments of self-doubt. However, let us remember that it is in these moments that we discover our true strength and resilience. The journey ahead may not be easy, but we have proven time and again that we possess the determination and tenacity to overcome any obstacle. As we leave the familiar halls of all of our aims, let us embrace the unknown with open hearts and minds. Let us dare to dream big, to set ambitious goals, and to chase our passions relentlessly. Let us embrace diversity, inclusivity, and kindness in all of our interactions. Let us be agents of positive change in our communities, shaping a future that is brighter and more compassionate. Class of 2023, as we stand here today, let us acknowledge and express our deepest gratitude to the teachers, coaches, mentors, parents, and guardians who have guided us along this journey. Their unwavering support, belief in our abilities, and dedication have propelled us forward. As we step into this new chapter of our lives, let us remember that the diploma we hold is not just a symbol of our academic achievement. It is a testament to our growth, our resilience, and our unwavering commitment to excellence. In closing, let us embrace the memories we have created together, the lessons we have learned, and the friendships we have formed. May we carry the spirit of our high school years at all of our aims in our hearts as we venture forth into the vast world of possibilities. I would like to leave you with a famous Dr. Seuss quote. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Thank you and may we all be blessed with success and fulfillment in our future endeavors. Congratulations class of 2023, our journey has just begun. here at All of Our Aims. You have had ups and downs, celebrations and tears, good days and tough days, and no matter what, you've done it together. 
As I thought about all you've accomplished in your four years here at OA, culminating on this graduation day, June 3rd, 2023, I wondered what other historical accomplishments occurred on June 3rd, and this is what I learned. On June 3rd, 1932, American baseball great Lou Gehrig hit four consecutive home runs in one game. Today, June 3rd, 2023, we celebrate that Oliver Ames sent four teams to state championships. If you competed on one of these teams, please stand up to be recognized. number one on the billboard. Today, in 2023, we celebrate that Oliver Ames performed the hit musical Footloose, of which the title one song, the title song was number one back in 1984. If you were a member of the cast or crew of Footloose, please stand up. show Tiger Talk, as well as award-winning videos with Mr. Sousa. If you were involved in any of these amazing publications, please stand up. <laughs> In 2001, Mel Brooks's musical The Producers won a record-setting 12 Tony Awards. Today, we celebrate our record number 18 awards and medals that the Oliver Ames Music Department brought home this year. If you are a member of our choir, show choir, marching band, concert band, or orchestra, please stand up. transmitted the first wireless telephone message on his newly invented photo phone from the top of the Franklin School in Washington, D.C. In this school year, Oliver Ames adopted a new cell phone policy. <laughs> if you put your phone away during class, looked up, and had a meaningful engagement with someone else on this stage, please stand up. <laughs> when I say that we can't wait to see what you do next. Now, before I present you with your diplomas, I want to take a moment to thank the members of the Eastern Public School Administration, Dr. Cabral and Ms. Pruitt, and our school committee for attending today. We value your commitment to this community so much. And I would also like to extend my sincerest gratitude to Senator Walter Timothy for joining us. Would you please stand and be recognized, Senator Timothy? Superintendent Dr. Alicia Cabral, School Committee Vice Chair Michelle Durant, and School Committee Chair Jennifer Starr to the stage for the conferring of diplomas. <laughs> Would the first row of graduates please stand and line up? Thank <laughs> you. 
Catherine Gerba. Benjamin Zacamara Picudo Fragoso Diaz. Michael John Giambuso. Carly Reese Gibson. Christina Hazel Gillis. Jenna Grace Gilman. Samuel Gilo. Abigail Maria Glover. Christopher Michael Morgan Glover. Ezra Murray Graham. Jaden James Graham. Madison Grace Gray. Paige Elizabeth Gray. <laughs> Ashley.
Ashley Helena Griffith. Jordan Isabella Grimaldi. Abigail Grace Haggerty. Aiden William Haggerty. Jack Wyatt Hansen. Carter Jeffrey Hansen. Kyle McKinnon Hardy. Grace Ann Harrington. Tegan Lee Hodges. Christine Lynn Holgate. Johanna Elizabeth Holmes. May Elizabeth Holmes. Madeline Ryder Homer. Grace Marin Hauser. Donovan Lord Howard. Malia Akie Hutton. Noah Scott Islib. Caitlin Grace Ivanovsky. Xander Jackson. Robert Xavier Jenkins, Jr. <laughs> Kayla Marie Jennings. Jenna Claire Keen. Bella Rose Kesselman. Brady Joseph Kessel. Ensa Ophion Kufre. Andrew Kwong. Alexander Albert Lafleur. Adama Katie Lamon Bengora. Matthew Chin Jung Lee. Savannah Alexis Lee. Ryan John LeMay. Jameson Sarah Levine. Andrew Robert Lincoln. Daniel Ryan Linares. Nathan Tyler Lipsky. Gloria Mackenzie Long. Quinton Anthony Lounge. Nathan James Luke. Greta Marie Lundine. Matthew Glenn Lyons. Elizabeth Janet McAdam. Margaret Mary McAdam. Michael Philip McAdam. Megan Kelleher McDonald. Davis Alexander Leach. Kawani Machado. Julia Irene McLean. Jackson Graham Maycomber. Ethan Joseph Mahoney. 
Maya Elizabeth Manganero. Allison Kathleen Manson. Jake Harrison Manthos. Taylor Kendra Martin. Larissa Jardim Martin. Trevor Vincent Mathers. Benjamin Patrick Matthews. Sean Fritz McCarthy. Michael Ryan McGinnis. Michaela Lynn Medeiros. Catherine Marie Melendi. Gianna Shea Milo. Janelle Nicole Milo. Nicholas Robert Merkel. Maria Rose Messina. Marina Rose Merzwinski. Abigail Louise Miller. Caitlin Grace Miller. Henry Nicholas Mirioni. Brian Jonathan Mitchell. Anthony Peter Monsini. Brianna Lisa Denise Monterio. Charles Arlen Morgan IV. Jack Anthony Morley. Sonnet Moses. Fiona Ann Nagel. Jenna Jean Nelson. Mire Nabil Nimmer. Samin Nihad. Precious Mahoro Mkutu. Ava Christine Norris. Rike Jardim Oliveira. Darren Ar Annette Ordier. Lily Jean Ozonian. Anthony Peter Panaggio. Leonard Parker. Cassandra Lynn Pascius. Daniel Evan Paul. Deva David Luca Pedrazzi. Irene Elizabeth Pedro. John William Perrin. Jonathan Tan Bamdo. Alexander Jeffrey Pierce. Brendan Peony. Edward Howe Kluak. Charles Joseph Pomfret. Joseph Michael Pontuso, Jr. 
Thomas Joseph Powers. Madeline Marie Proya. Olivia Claire Crizzoli. Courtney Ann Raymond. Benjamin Dubin Reardon. Dylan Philip Von Reddish. Dante James Refford. Nicholas Richard Rhodes. Jane Catherine Rolt. Victor Mariano Romero. Marcus Romius. Lindsay Elizabeth Routson. Abigail Marie Sanford. Ryan David Sarney. Lauren Alexandria Schleifer. J. David Skolnick. Josiah Raja Sagrin. Kevin Daniel Shea. Chad William Silva. Ian Honglong Silva. Gabe Myers Silverman. William Holby Silverai. Jillian Francis Spadia. Jacob Raul Sperrin. Aristoteles Joseph Spiliakos. Patrick James Spillane. Olivia John Stevens. Olivia Morgan Stone. Emily Rose Zamilo. Haley Marie Thibault. Tina Tora. Colby Jacob Tower. Taylor Marie Tracy. Kaylin Dylan Tracy. Henry Tron. Jason Thomas Trefiro. Marty Nicholas Sankoff. Amanda Martin Walker. Did I miss somebody? Hmm? Erica Marie Tunin. Who's next? Amanda Martha Walker. There we go, I got it. Ava Hanalore Webb. Samantha May Weintraub. Abby J. Wells. Ryan Jason Widdup. Curtis Winnell Williams, Jr. Daniel Williams, Patrick John Williams, Catherine Marie Wilson, Paige Marie Winslow, Skylar Jade Walu. 
Kalka. Anna Catherine Wood. Kelsey Elizabeth Worcester. Amanda Rose Robel. Christopher James Young. Jeffrey William Young. Jordan Michael Young. Andrew Joseph Zagami. Jason Thomas Zalis. Jillian Zicello. That concludes our indoor graduation ceremony. Our students will process out and then you can join them. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you. 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 Thank you.